Claris Connect is a cloud-based integration platform that allows you to create entire workflows by connecting applications. Using flows, you can automate everyday business tasks and processes, including integrating your FileMaker custom apps and data using three special connectors provided by Claris. This video provides more in-depth information about using these connectors and how to configure them. The FileMaker Cloud Connector and the FileMaker Server Connector provide access to your hosted custom apps and support being used as either a trigger or as an action. The on-premise connector for FileMaker Server is a special gateway connector used in scenarios where your data is behind a firewall or in a secure location inaccessible on the internet. Before we begin, it is worth noting the versions of Claris products that are supported when using Claris Connect. These connectors require the FileMaker Data API to be enabled to integrate correctly with other applications and web services. As a reminder, the Data API can be enabled and configured in the admin console for either FileMaker Cloud or FileMaker Server. Also, all your hosted FileMaker solutions need to have the Data API Extended Privilege Set enabled. And finally, you must have a valid third-party SSL certificate on the server where your data resides. Our discussion begins with the FileMaker Cloud and FileMaker Server connectors. Configuring either of these connectors is similar, as is the overall functionality. Both connectors can be used as a trigger for a flow or as an action step in a flow. Let's begin by discussing what you need to do to use either of these connectors as a trigger. Add the appropriate connector to your flow and set up a new account. It is at this point where setting up the FileMaker Cloud and FileMaker Server connectors are slightly different. For FileMaker Server, you need to specify the domain or DNS name of the server you are trying to connect to, the username and password needed to access the solution, and the solution name itself. For FileMaker Cloud, you specify the organization, instance, and database. Once you have validated your account, the process for setting up the FileMaker Cloud or FileMaker Server connectors as triggers are the same. The on-screen directions direct you to make some simple modifications to your hosted solution, including creating and configuring a script. This process requires a working knowledge of JSON and formatting FileMaker data API calls. Included in these directions is a special URL known as a callback URL. Please make a note of this callback URL, as it is needed when setting up either connector type as a trigger. To summarize these directions, begin by creating a script and adding a set variable step defining a global variable named JSON data. It is here where you submit your JSON key pair request using the format of action script. For example, next, add an insert from URL step using the following parameters. Here is an example of what the script might look like. Bring up the Claris Connect window and run the script you just created to confirm the connection. At this point, you can add appropriate actions to your flow to utilize the data from your FileMaker solution. For example, add a subscriber to a mailing list or add an event to a calendar. 
The possibilities and power are endless. Using the FileMaker Cloud Connector as an action in your flows is more straightforward, allowing for creating, editing, deleting, and searching records as well as performing scripts. And, as you would expect, all FileMaker Cloud actions allow for accessing step data from previous steps in your flow, allowing for powerful options when working with your data in your custom apps. If your FileMaker server is secure and not accessible to the outside world, you can use the FileMaker server on-premise connector to allow you to include your FileMaker solution with your Claris Connect flows. The on-premise connector works by installing an on-premise agent on a machine that is accessible to the internet. And this agent acts as a gateway between Claris Connect and your FileMaker server. Let's take a closer look. Before you can use the FileMaker server on-premise connector as part of a flow, the agent must be downloaded and configured. From the Claris Connect homepage, click the Options menu next to your team name and select Add an On-Premise Agent. The wizard walks you through creating a unique user-defined agent, as well as prompting you to select the version of the on-premise agent you want to download. Please note the agent key. The agent key is used during the installation of the on-premise agent and when using the on-premise agent in a flow. Continue by downloading the agent installer. During the installation of the agent, you are prompted for a location to install the agent. Unless you have a reason to change it, it is recommended that you accept the default location. Note, you do not need to install the agent on the same machine where FileMaker Server is installed. The on-premise agent can be installed on a different machine as long as that machine has access to the internet and access to the machine where your on-premise data resides. Next, you are prompted to enter the agent key you received earlier. Note that you can retrieve the agent key at any time by accessing the on-premise agents tab and selecting the desired agent from the list of agents. A configuration file is created in the installation folder as part of the on-premise agent install. It includes some default information that is generated by the installer. In most cases, this default information should not be altered. However, you will need to modify the configuration file to include information about the data sources that you wish to connect to. Add the connector name, connection name, domain, user, password, and database name to the configuration file. An on-premise agent remains inactive until you start it. Claris Connect provides a command line utility to run and manage an agent. To begin using the agent, open a command line or terminal window and type in the following command. You can confirm the status of your configured agents by clicking the On-Premise Agents tab on the Claris Connect homepage. Once active, an on-premise agent can be used in your flows. When you use an on-premise agent in a project for the first time, you need to specify what agent you want to use. Specify the agent key and the connection name as they are defined in the configuration file. After you have successfully connected to the agent, you specify the layout in your FileMaker solution you want to use. Note, only the fields that are on the selected layout are available for use in your flow. 
Claire's Connect provides powerful integration between your hosted FileMaker solutions and the applications and services you use every day. Whether you want data from a web form seamlessly entered into your FileMaker solution or the same data sent to your favorite online service, Claris Connect provides the power and flexibility to make that happen, all in a simple to use point and click interface. To learn more about Claris Connect and other products from Claris, please visit our website at www.claris.com.